Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Riley Chavey, and I am a clinical trainee over at U of M Dearborn CAPS. Um, hopefully, some of you got the chance to either tune into or uh, watch over my uh, webinar from last week, because uh, a little bit about what we're going to be talking about today and doing today falls really well into what I talked about last time, uh, but we'll do kind of a little bit of a recap on that. Uh, so today we're going to be focusing on mindfulness a little bit more, but with mindfulness comes relaxation, so there will be kind of a combination of both. So let's go ahead and get started. So some of the more specific things that we're going to be doing today, um, I'm going to do a quick recap on mindfulness. I know that uh, last week we had uh, one of our other trainees, Mickey, go over the mindfulness relaxation webinar, uh, and she most definitely talked a lot about uh, the benefits of that and what that looks like, uh, but I'm just going to kind of do a little bit of recap if you didn't get a chance to see that. Uh, we're also going to be focusing primarily on mindfulness exercises, and I have quite a few available for us today, uh, so we'll be taking some time to do that. So what these are going to look like, uh, the first section that we're going to kind of go through uh, are some guided activities, so that's going to be including um, a five-minute meditation where somebody else is actually going to be talking. Uh, I have a video for us for that. Uh, the second one is going to be what I call mindfulness listening. So we're going to be uh, listening to a piece of music, and I'll talk a little bit more about that when we get there. Uh, lastly, we're going to be doing a body scan. So I'm going to go ahead and lead you through a body scan. Body scans are personally some of my favorite or one of my favorite choices as far as doing mindfulness, because not only are you aware of what's going on in your head at the time, but you're also being very focused on your bodily sensations and any tension or pain or just the feeling of your feet on the ground. You're just being more aware of that because we can sometimes get lost in, in our day-to-day -day functions and we don't necessarily pay attention to that. And then uh, we're going to, after that, we're going to kind of switch into, which I'm very excited for, um, is mindfulness through drawing. So I don't know if you got a chance to get the kind of short excerpt uh, about what this webinar is going to look like. Uh, but if you want to right now, I would recommend going to grab a couple pieces of paper, anywhere between two and three pieces of paper, and your favorite drawing utensil. So that could be pens, pencils. Um, I have colored pencils with me because I'm going to be kind of participating with you as we go through that. Um, and we're going we're gonna to take some time to do some drawing, which uh, I think is really cool. And I think it, it not only allows you to be mindfulness, but you can get some of your creativity out this way as well. So uh, if you need to leave for just a second, go ahead and go grab those things. And I'll, I'll kind of keep going through with what we're talking about today. And then lastly, after those drawing activities, if we get the chance, um, I have a about a five minute guided imagery video. Uh, last week, I showed a very short portion of this. Uh, so hopefully we have time to go through the whole thing. But if not, that's totally okay. I can include it in another webinar of mine. So that's kind of what we're going to be looking at today. And I hope that with this, you kind of take something away from it, even if you know all of these, all of these activities that I'm doing with you, just taking away the fact that it's always a good thing for you to be mindful and to give yourself the chance to relax. So we'll go ahead and get started. So to kind of start off, we're gonna look a little bit about what mindfulness is and the benefits of that. So my own kind of interpretation is that mindfulness is a practice that involves a state of awareness and concentration on the present moment. We often find ourselves kind of stuck on autopilot or focusing in the past and in the present 
are in the future, excuse me. Uh, and rarely are we kind of focused on the here and now and what we're doing and what we're able to control. Because a lot of the time we can't control what's happened in the past and we can't control what's necessarily going to happen in the future. So that's where mindfulness comes in, where we're taking that chance to, to be aware of our present moment and the way we feel in that moment. Um, according to the Mayo Clinic, uh, which I will have all of these references at the end of the webinar, uh, mindfulness also allows an individual to experience thoughts and emotions with more clarity and more acceptance. So when we're thinking about this, uh, when we're kind of doing things or focused on other things, we can often have a lot of judgment towards ourselves uh, and the surroundings and, and our surroundings. Uh, we can think negatively of ourselves or we are kind of wrapped up in the negativity that's around us. And with mindfulness um, and some of the, the things we'll be looking at today uh, will help with this, but with mindfulness, it allows us to kind of take a step back from what we're normally thinking about or what we're normally doing and provides us with a chance to look at things with an unbiased perspective. So kind of looking at things with just no preconceived notions, no judgments, and allowing ourselves to be uh, aware of what's going on and to not necessarily have negative thoughts about that. So kind of taking those things into consideration uh, very quickly, when we're engaging in mindfulness and as we practice this through our whole life, uh, it gives us a chance to relax our bodies because oftentimes we're tense and we don't even know it until the end of the day when we're laying in bed and we notice, oh, my legs hurt or my back hurts or I have a headache or something like that. Uh, it allows us to, to relax our muscles and relax our bodies. It can reduce stress and anxiety. So oftentimes when we're kind of stuck thinking about multiple things or thinking about the past or the future, we are stressed or we have anxiety. And especially now in our current situation, we are definitely in a position where stress and anxiety is kind of high because we have a lot of things that we can't control and we aren't really sure of what the future is going to look like. So this is an excellent opportunity for you to place yourself in control and, and focus on the here and now and what you're able to do in the moment. And then lastly, uh, especially for individuals who are anxious uh, or experience higher heart rates, um, mindfulness is able to help you decrease that as well as decrease some of your pain because you're allowing yourself to focus on that pain or that tension that you would normally feel and finding ways to relax that and, and putting your attention on that so you can relax that pain. So that's kind of what mindfulness looks like and also the benefits of mindfulness. And I think those are really important to think about as we move forward and go through the exercises for today. Okay. So, like I said, um, we're going to spend most of our time on some uh, mindfulness activities and techniques. And I kind of just want to start with a simple five minute meditation. Um, I particularly like this one uh, because I enjoy the, the presenter's voice. Uh, sometimes people don't enjoy everybody's voices and that's completely understandable. Uh, but just take some time as we go through this to kind of think about any of the messages you're gaining from this um, or any feelings that you might have about that because uh, hopefully we'll have some time at the end to to discuss a little bit about how these activities have made you feel and if they're they're helpful for you in some way so we'll go ahead and get that started hey there and thanks for gifting yourself these next few minutes it's important to remember that you're a priority and allowing yourself even just a few short minutes of intentional reflection can really have a positive impact on the rest of your day. So let's use these next few minutes to come back to center and set an intention for the rest of your day. Move into a comfortable position, whether you're seated at your desk at work or laying on the couch at home, 
and gently close your eyes and shift all of your attention onto your breathing, taking slower, deeper breaths than you've taken all day so far, taking a deep breath in through your nose and slowly letting it out through your mouth. And continuing to breathe that way, feeling your lungs expand out as you inhale and contract back in as you exhale. Tune into your body, noticing how it feels, noticing if there's anything that it's trying to tell you. Notice any place of tension or tightness in your body. Give those areas permission to relax, sending love into those areas. Thank your body for taking such good care of you and let it know that it's okay to rest and relax for these next few minutes. You may notice that your mind starts to wander off. That's okay, that's natural. Just notice it and bring your attention back to your body using your breath as your anchor. Try to picture one thing that's happened today that's made you smile or made you thankful or appreciative. And just let that feeling fill you up for a moment. Breathe that feeling in from the top of your head to the tips of your toes and allow yourself to smile if that feels natural. Now focus on something that you can do today whether it's for yourself or for someone else that will allow you to continue feeling this way. It could be something as small as deciding to go to bed early tonight so that you have time to finally read that book that's been on your bedside table or the joy of getting dinner with a close friend. What's one little thing you can plan for your day to bring that intentional joy to it? Now just focus on that for a few minutes. Sit in that feeling of joy and peace. together, a deep breath in, feeling your lungs expand out as you inhale, and everything contract back in as you exhale. Again, an even deeper breath than the one before it, holding that breath for a beat, and exhaling everything out. Last time, your deepest breath yet, sending that breath through your entire body. And exhale it out, and in your own time, slowly bring your awareness back to where you are. And thank yourself for taking these few minutes to just be intentional and kind to yourself. And when you're ready, you can gently open your eyes and enjoy the rest of your day. I just want to I want to make sure that as you're kind of coming back to the room um, that those of you who are tuning in were you able to hear the video clearly while we were going through and you can let me know in the chat function awesome 
Okay, so I kind of like shorter meditations like these because they they guide you through on on what you can be aware of and and what you can think about and the things that you can focus on and as we're moving forward it there are millions of these videos on YouTube on um, other other types of websites and I think that it's always really nice to kind of have some of these in your back pocket just so that you know if you're at work and you're feeling stressed or if you're at home and you're feeling stressed in school and you're feeling stressed or just need a chance to to step back from what you're doing uh, these short meditations are really nice they're quick and they're to the point and i always think that that's that's helpful to have so kind of moving forward um as i mentioned earlier we were going to do another activity called mindful listening and I think this one is kind of interesting uh, because we often put a lot of emphasis or emotions or thoughts uh, into the music that we listen to and when I'm when I'm kind of thinking about this, uh, sometimes I'm even listening to music and not even paying attention to it, even though in the past I've really enjoyed listening to it, or maybe I notice that there are things in the song that I don't like much about it when I initially start listening to it, but when we're kind of in the zone or not necessarily focused and we still have music playing in our ears, we can often just not be fully aware of what we're trying to listen to and, and what that looks like. So what I would like you to do, and I'll, I'll play a short excerpt from, from this video. This is like a hour long video. Um, and I also found this one on YouTube. So if you're, if you're interested, I have the links at the end of my presentation. Uh, but during, during this time, uh, I want you to take a second and listen closely to the music to explore all aspects of it, all the different instruments, the different sounds, how they're different, the intonations. Just take, take the time to really immerse yourself in the music. Uh, think about how even though there are different instruments and different sounds, in multiple areas of the music, how they are intertwined to make a collective sound. I also want you to take some time to notice how you're feeling or any thoughts that kind of pop up into your head as you're, as you're doing this, as you're trying to be aware of each aspect of the music. Um, I think that it's, it's kind of important to to set a tone for yourself when you're listening to this music and, and to just allow yourself to feel what it is that you feel and think what you, what you feel like you need to think. Um, but also recognize that it's, that it's a thought. It's not, uh, it's not fact. It's not fiction. It's just a thought that's kind of coming through your head as you're listening to this or a feeling as you're listening to this and allowing yourself to, to acknowledge that it's there, but then letting it go as you continue to immerse yourself in the music. So we'll take some time to go through that. And uh, once again, just think about how it makes you feel, anything that comes up for you, and take your time to be, to be aware of it. I'll start in a specific spot.
you can kind of bring yourself back into the webinar. And as you've noticed, there was kind of a couple changes in, in the type of music that was playing during that video. Um, and kind of disregarding those abrupt changes, um, I just kind of want to take some time uh, to, before we move into the, to the next um, activity, uh, to see where everybody's at and and what what they're feeling and what's come up for them as they have engaged in the activities thus far. Um, and you can kind of type your thoughts in the chat function uh, whenever you feel comfortable to do that. Well, while you guys are kind of thinking about that and whether or not you want to let everybody know how you've been feeling during this time or just kind of want that to sit with you, um, I can say that as, as I was going through these to kind of pick out what would be best um, to, to show you, I personally feel as though it gives me an opportunity to think of nothing but what I'm doing in the moment. And I feel relaxed and with no concern to my outside surroundings. So it's almost like I create my own bubble of peace and in particular with the music, tranquility. Uh, where I'm feeling comfortable and safe almost. And I think that it's important that we give ourselves the chance to do that, to be comfortable and to be safe. And these are some of the easiest ways to do that. Uh, but not everybody enjoys the things that I enjoy and not everybody's going to enjoy what everybody else enjoys and that's perfectly okay. But giving yourself some time to figure out what's best for you and what makes you feel most comfortable is always uh, a good thing to, to think about and a good thing to give yourself a chance to do. So the next thing that we're going to do uh, is uh, what I call and what most people call a body scan. So with the body scan, um, basically, and I provided a link at the end of my presentation, um, I found this really wonderful script, I guess you could say, uh, that is very easy to follow along with and you can if you don't feel like reading it as you're doing the body scan yourself, you can pre-record it um, or you can have a friend do it, uh, whatever makes you feel most comfortable. And just allow yourself a few minutes to, to walk through this and to enjoy this. Um, basically, this body scan is an opportunity to recognize those tensions in your body and to become self-aware of how you're feeling and the physical sensations you have during any given point when you start this. Um, and I think that this is a great way to be more independent when doing this, that this is an opportunity that you can even do without a script. Uh, just allowing yourself to, to be comfortable in a place, lying down, sitting down, whatever's most comfortable, and just recognizing what your body feels like and any certain tensions that come up. Uh, it's, it's kind of just a good way to, to bring yourself down and, and to ground yourself in the, the present moment.
So we'll go ahead and get started with that. So to, to kind of begin, uh, I want you to take some time to make yourself comfortable. Uh, this could look like sitting in a chair and allowing your back to be straight but not stiff and having your feet flat on the ground. You could also be doing this standing or lying down as long as your head is supported. Whichever way you choose, have your hands resting gently on your lap or on your sides and when you feel comfortable and if you feel comfortable allowing your eyes to close gently and if you don't want to close your eyes to have your eyes open but softly and not harsh. And as you get into the position that's most comfortable with you, I want you to start by taking several long, slow, and deep breaths. Breathing in fully and exhaling slowly. Inhaling through your nose and exhaling out through your mouth. As you're taking these deep breaths, allow yourself to feel your stomach expand on each inhale and relax and let go as you exhale. Just taking a moment to be gentle with yourself as you breathe in and breathe out. As you're breathing, allow yourself to let go of any distractions or noises that are surrounding you. Start thinking and shifting your attention from your external being and more internal. If you notice that you're starting to wander in your thoughts or sounds are distracting you within the room, just allow yourself to acknowledge that and bring your focus back to your, bringing, your breathing. As you continue to breathe, take a moment and slowly bring your attention down to your feet. Begin observing sensations in your feet. It might be helpful to move your toes a little bit. Acknowledge how your toes feel against your socks your shoes, or the surface that they're sitting on. You might imagine sending your breath down to your feet as if it's traveling through your nose, to your lungs, down through your abdomen, all the way down to your feet and then back up and out. Even if you don't feel the breath, that is okay. Just allow yourself to feel any sensations in your feet or the sensation of not feeling anything. When you're ready, allow your feet to dissolve in your mind's eye and move your attention up to your ankles, your calves, 
your knees and your thighs. Observe the sensations that you're experiencing throughout your legs. Breathe into and breathe out of those legs. If your mind is beginning to wander, gently notice and without judgment, bring your mind back to noticing the sensations in your legs. If you're noticing any discomfort, pain, or stiffness, don't judge this. Just simply notice. Observe all sensations rising and falling, shifting and changing with each passing moment. Notice how no sensation is permanent. Just observe and allow these sensations to be in the moment with you. Continue to breathe in and out. On your next exhale, allow your legs to dissolve in your mind and move your attention to your lower back and pelvis. Softening any tension as you breathe in and breathe out. Slowly move your attention up to your mid-back and upper back. Become curious about any sensations, any tensions. You may even become aware of sensations in your muscles, the temperature, or any points of contact with your chair, the ground. With each breath, you may let go of any tension you're carrying. And with each breath, gently shift your focus to your stomach and all of your internal organs. Perhaps you notice the feeling of your clothing. Your belly rising and falling with each breath. If you're noticing any judgments or opinions as you observe these areas, gently acknowledge them, let them go, and return back to focusing on the sensations you feel. As you continue to take slow and meaningful breaths, bring your awareness to your chest and heart region and just notice your heartbeat. Observe how the chest rises, how it falls.
And when you're ready, shift your focus to your hands and fingertips. See if you can channel your breathing into and out of your hands, your fingertips. If your mind is wandering, gently bring it back to the sensations that you're feeling right now. With each coming breath, shift your focus to your arms. Observe any sensations or lack of sensations. Notice the differences between your left arm and your right arm. As you exhale, you may experience your arms feeling softer, releasing the tensions you once had. As you continue to breathe, shift your focus to your neck, your shoulders, and your throat. We often feel most of our tension in the shoulder area, mm -hmm. in our necks. Allow yourself to be with these sensations. You may notice your shoulders moving with each breath. Let go of any thoughts or judgments. As you breathe, allow the tension to roll off your shoulders. And when you're ready, shift your focus and direct your attention to your scalp, your head, and your face. Observe all the sensations occurring in these areas. Notice the movement of the air as you breathe in and out of your nostrils and mouth. And now, let your attention expand out to include your entire body as one whole. Bring into your awareness the top of your head down to the bottom of your toes. Feel the gentle rhythm of the breath as it moves through your body. As we come to the end, Take a full, deep breath, taking in all the energy of this practice and exhale fully. And when you're ready, allow yourself to open your eyes and return your attention to the present moment. As you become fully alert and awake, Consider setting the intention that this practice of building awareness will benefit you throughout the entire day.
right. As you're all coming back into the room, even while reading that, I feel somewhat more relaxed. I feel comfortable and kind of ready to focus my attention on the present moment. And I hope that you also feel those things as we, we move forward. Okay. So as you're coming back into the room, as you remember earlier in the webinar, and for those of you who have just recently joined, um, I want you to take some time and collect your drawing utensils and any paper that you might have. And if, you're, if that's not readily accessible, uh, some computers have the ability to use the paint function, anything that you're able to, to kind of draw with. Uh, go ahead and take some time to grab that as we move forward. All right, so as I mentioned earlier, uh, one of the, the activities that we'll, we'll spend the majority or the rest of our time on uh, is uh, mindfulness drawing. And this one is particularly interesting and I enjoy the the benefits of, of these next couple exercises. Um, I feel that they allow the individual to, to not only be aware and, and to focus on, on what the task is, but to kind of unleash some, some creativity and allowing yourself to do something other than the first few exercises that we did before. Um, the one thing that's really great about mindfulness is the ability to customize it and make it unique to yourself and to find things that work for you and elicit that peace and that happiness and the comfort that, that, that we're, we're hoping for. So as you'll notice on uh, your screen over here uh, for this picture. Um, basically, what we're going to start off with doing is uh, drawing our breath. And I know that seems kind of confusing, um, but this is kind of a really nice way to bring your attention to your breath in a different way than just experiencing the sensations that you feel, much like we did in our body scan. Uh, it's just an opportunity for you to visually see where it's at um, and also just helps you reduce uh, breathing if you're, if you're feeling like you're breathing too hard or too fast. Um, I think it's, it's a great way for us to kind of recognize those things. So we'll go ahead and get started with this first one. So what I want you to do is go ahead and take your, your drawing utensil, whatever that might be, and have your paper out in front of you. Um, and what you're gonna do, very similar to this picture, um, without trying to control your breath, so without trying to make them deeper or longer or shorter or anything like that, just being aware of your, your normal breathing, um, I want you to take whatever your drawing utensil is and on starting on one side of the piece of paper, however you want to orient that, just start moving your pen up and down very similarly to how the drawing looks. And just notice its rhythm moving up and down and just focus on your breath, each in breath, each out breath as you go down 
and how long your pauses are in between each breath. And kind of in the back of your, in your mind on, on the side, just be aware of, of how, how it feels to draw, where your pen is, is in your hand, how, how it feels to, to watch the color come off or the graphite come off of your pencil. Just kind of do that. And if you want to use a couple, take your time to a couple pieces of paper, take your time and just notice what that looks like. And another way to kind of allow yourself the freedom to draw how your breath is, keep your grip on your pencil relaxed and keep your hand and your forearm off of the table or the piece of paper that you have. It may feel shaky or not as clean as you want it to be, but it's giving you the freedom to draw exactly how your hand is making you move and how your breath is working. Personally, mine kind of looks like a four-year-old drew it, but at least it provides me with some, some creative outlets to focus on my breath and to focus on how that can be seen visually. So take a, take a couple more seconds and kind of come to a close on that drawing. I think this one is particularly helpful if you feel like you don't have a lot of um, drawing ability and it's, it's something simple that you can do at any time when you're feeling overwhelmed or concerned with any stress that you might have. So, so allow yourself to that, that opportunity to engage in that. So another activity that um, I think is, is very helpful um, in terms of mindfulness uh, is, is drawing, drawing how we're feeling and the emotions behind what we're feeling. Um, and hopefully you have a, a couple other pieces of paper. Um, but what we're, what we're going to kind of do next is become aware of how we're feeling in this moment um, and how you might label the way that you're feeling and, and what that looks like. So, for example, if you're allowing yourself to sit here in the moment as relaxed as you can be, Focusing on, on how you're feeling. If there's any type of tension or resistance within your body and, and how you would label that. Would you be labeling that as anxiety, as fear, as anger, sadness, joy? However, however you would articulate that. So what I'd like you to do is with a, with a fresh, fresh piece of paper, just take a moment and, and sit back, relax your body and focus, focus your attention on, on how you're feeling and how you label that. And as you determine how you label that feeling and what that looks like for you. I want you to allow your hand to draw or express however you feel fit, 
what that emotion looks like. A good way to, to kind of look at it is, if you were that emotion, what would it look like? How would you draw that? And as you're drawing, allow yourself to do completely fluid motions. So don't lift your pen or pencil off of the page. Just allow yourself to draw with no disruptions. This kind of allows you to remove any indecision about how to, how to draw something or how to, how to make it look the way that you want it to. Just allowing yourself to be focused on what's coming to mind as you, as you think about your emotion. And just take some time to kind of draw that out See what that looks like to you. And as you kind of come to a close on, on what this emotion feels like, take a second and think about the opposite of that emotion. So if you're feeling anxiety, what would, what would the opposite of that look like? If you're feeling anger, what might that look like on the other side? It may be helpful to think about um, what, what are you lacking that does not allow you to feel the way that you want to feel or the opposite of how you're feeling now? So for example, if you're feeling angry, you might be lacking some sort of compassion. So allowing yourself to add that compassion in would then maybe make you feel content or happy. And once you take the time to kind of identify the opposite of that, go back to your drawing and without stopping, just let that new emotion kind of take control over what you are drawing. See how it kind of transforms from whatever you were drawing before into what this opposite emotion looks like. Being focused on that swift change and being in control of how that switch occurred and what that looks like for you. And as we kind of come to a close with this webinar, I want you to just kind of take some time and reflect on what you've learned during this time, what you've experienced, and any feelings or thoughts or emotions that have come up with you for you during this time. If you thought about ways in which you can can make mindfulness unique to you. If you have determined that you like guided meditations versus something a little more independent, such as a body scan or drawing, um, just allow yourself to recognize what, what might be good for you and what might not be as 
good of an option for you when it comes to mindfulness. And one last thing that I, that I want to end on is mindfulness takes practice. It doesn't come for us overnight and it can be difficult to feel the, the benefit as it may not come the second you start using a mindfulness technique. So allow yourself to be patient and to be gentle and over time you'll see the benefits and how easy it is for you to kind of keep on track with mindfulness techniques and adding that into your day-to-day -day life. So you'll notice on our screen um, I have some references for anybody who is interested in any of the techniques that I use during this time. Uh, I really appreciate all of you tuning in and hopefully if uh, you enjoyed it, you'll recommend it to other people to, to watch. So thank you, and uh, I hope everybody has a great day, and see you next week.